top office is extra busy with final preparations for the state banquet President Moon Jae-in will host for his American counterpart. Our Chang'an correspondent Hwang Ho-jun starts us off with the details of tomorrow's main event. This melody, the Light Cavalry Overture, will resonate through the banquet hall of the Blue House Tuesday night, signaling the start of the grand performance prepared in honor of the visiting president. The music, according to the presidential office of Chang Wade, was selected based on the hope that South Korea and the U.S. will continue to march together as strong allies. On Monday afternoon, the Blue House disclosed some of the details of Tuesday's state banquet, hosting U.S. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump. We are preparing this banquet to show the greatest honor and courtesy that our state guests deserve, not only to reinforce close fellowship between the two presidents and first ladies, but also to invoke the spirit of the ironclad South Korea-U.S. alliance. President Trump will be bringing in about 50 guests, including White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, and Senior Advisor Jared Kushner. According to the Blue House, President Moon and First Lady Kim Jong-suk will greet the American President and First Lady and other guests. And they will all enter Chongwade's state guest house called Yongbingguan, which is where the dinner banquet will be held. The national anthem of both countries will be played, starting with the Star Spangled Banner and moving on to Korea's Eguka. President Moon will welcome his U.S. counterpart and offer a toast. President Trump will then follow suit. And dinner will be served shortly. Starting around 9 p.m., a musical performance featuring both K-pop and Korean traditional music will take place before the Trumps head back to their hotel. Among the 120 guests are also Korea's so-called three next in command, which are the Prime Minister, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, and the National Assembly Speaker, along with government officials and military officials. Those who have contributed to the Allies' bilateral relations, as well as dozens of selected American citizens residing in Korea, were also invited.